So in this video, we're taking a closer look at the Chelsea boots from Koyo. This is the mocha brown suede color. We'll do an unboxing and I'll point out some of the main things I noticed about this Chelsea boot in particular, as well as give you my overall first impressions. So let's get into it. What's up, fellas? I'm Baron, and this is Effortless Gents. If you are new here, welcome. On this channel, we typically do style tips, product reviews, unboxings, all to help you look stylish effortlessly. So if you are into that kind of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button. This is a first impressions unboxing type of video, so I haven't spent a lot of time with this shoe specifically, but if you want a like longer term review about these specific boots, let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure to do uh, another video on that. Shout out to Koyo for sponsoring this video and for sending me this pair of boots to unbox for you guys. While they did send me this pair, they don't dictate what I say or do in this video. And that goes for any unboxing or first impressions video that I do on this channel. So you can rest assured that all opinions are my own. Just a little disclaimer there. Okay, let's check out the boots. Okay, so if you've never ordered a pair of Koyos before, this is what you get. Essentially, uh, all their boxes, their branding has this like seafoam green blue color. Welcome to the Koyo family. And so every pair of shoes, at least every pair of shoes that I have gotten from Koyo, uh, they come with this dust bag. Now this helps when you are um, storing your shoes, uh, obviously keeps dust off of them. Also, it helps prevent any scuffs or scratches if you happen to store your shoes next to other pairs of shoes, which can happen. Uh, so a dust bag is really great to have. And then from there, open this up and bam. So this is the uh, Koyo Chelsea boot, and this is the Mocha suede color. Okay, so let me read off a few of the product details here. I'm also gonna link to these particular boots uh, in the description below, so you can go ahead and click through and uh, you know read up more about this specific boot. Okay, so these are 100% made in Italy. They're a suede leather with a lug style sole. They are double stitched for durability, and they are lined with this really supple leather on the inside. So this sole is actually called Extra Light. It's an Extra Light sole. It's shock absorbing, flexible, and designed to be grippy. More on the soles in a minute. I'm gonna focus on this because it's actually really interesting. There is a heel tab and dual elastic paneling on both sides, which makes uh, putting on and taking off the shoe really easy. Best of all, you can wear these in really harsh weather conditions like rain or snow. Uh, the sole really helps with grip and the suede can handle all that stuff. As far as fit and sizing goes, uh, I find that these are true to size. I am a size nine or a 42 in European sizing. I ordered a 42, uh, they fit perfectly. I have somewhat of a wider foot and there's no, um, there's no tightness or anything in the instep. It's really comfortable. By the way, if you are enjoying this unboxing so far, make sure you hit that like button. That'll let me know that you one like this video and I can do more of these for you guys. And if you wanna know what I think about these boots after a few weeks or months of wear, let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure to film a follow-up review for you. Okay, so there are a few things I wanted to point out about this particular Chelsea that I really like. Thing number one is the lug sole. Typically on Chelsea's, you see a standard leather or rubber sole, sometimes a day-night sole, but you rarely see a lug sole on Chelsea's. I think that's really cool. This kind of differentiates it from all the other Chelsea's out there. The lug sole is great for grip, especially if you are walking around in like rain or snow or ice, you know, this is going to help prevent you from slipping and sliding around. These are extra light soles. I had to look this up. Extra light is a really durable foam that's used in a ton of different applications from sporting goods to medical devices. And yes, even shoe soles, pretty crazy. I'm gonna talk about this more in a minute because this is actually a really important thing. These Chelsea boots are really light and it has a lot to do with the sole. So more on that in one minute. Thing number two, the overall style. You're looking at a Chelsea that leans more rugged, more trend forward. This is something you'd wear more casually versus uh, a Chelsea boot that you'd wear with a suit. So if you have a rugged style or more of a streetwear style, this Chelsea boot is perfect for you. It definitely leans that way stylistically. You can wear this with skinny jeans or just regular jeans uh, with a wider leg. You can roll up the leg a little bit. Give you play with more of those silhouettes? Uh, as far as tops go, you can go with like a shirt like this. Um, maybe uh, you have like a field jacket or a military jacket, a parka, things like that. If your style in general leans more casual or more streetwear, this is a type of Chelsea boot that'll go really well with that sort of look. Thing number three, the weight of these Chelsea boots. I noticed them out the box, they are super light. Now I mentioned earlier that these are extra light soles. I'm just gonna show you exactly what I mean by that. So uh, I actually brought a few Chelsea's that I own and I'm gonna weigh this one specifically against these guys just to kind of show you what I mean. 
So if I weigh this, I have a little, I have a little scale right here. Um, this is 14.39 ounces. Okay, so just keep that number in mind. I'm gonna weigh all these other Chelsea's that I have. Uh, these are from M. Jemmy. That's 15.2 ounces. So it's an ounce heavier than this guy. These are from Ace Marks. 16.93 ounces. These are from New Republic. 19.79 ounces. It's getting heavier. Uh, and these are from Herring. 22.57 ounces. So it's no joke when they say that these are extra light, uh, the sole, and that really adds to like just the overall lightness of the shoe. And if you look at them, as far as like the look of these Chelsea's, they're, they definitely look bigger, but um, they're definitely the lightest, which is crazy. So that's thing number three that I noticed about these boots in particular. Okay, so thing number four that I noticed is the shaft height. It's kind of obvious here that this boot is clearly a lot taller. This is the Koya right here. Clearly a lot taller than all the other Chelsea's that I own. Uh, I would say that the M Jemmy is on like the shorter end of the Chelsea boot style of shaft that I've seen. Very short uh, compared to uh, this guy especially, but I think the middle of the road here is kind of like, typically I think the Chelsea boots are around this height, at least the ones that I've noticed uh, around this height. This one's a little bit shorter uh, and this one is definitely a lot taller. So I just wanted to give you kind of an overview. This is like a your mileage may vary type of thing in terms of what your preferences are and what you like. Um, what I will guess is that a lot of times when I'm wearing boots uh, that are a little bit lower or like, you know, middle of the ground slash lower, my, uh, depending on the kind of pants or jeans that you're wearing, they're going to get kind of caught behind uh, the, the pull tabs, which can get kind of annoying. Uh, so you have to like adjust your jeans every time you stand up. Uh, that's one thing I've noticed, um, but if that doesn't bother you, then maybe that's not that big of a deal. I do think that with these Chelsea boots, it's going to depend on what kind of pants you're wearing, but I'm going to assume that because these are so much taller than the rest of these, uh, that my pants aren't gonna get caught behind this as much. I will, again, I'll let you guys know in a future video, but that's just my assumption. I do like how this is a little bit higher. I can roll up my jeans. Uh, it's just like a different sort of look. Again, this is more casual, and some of these can lean a bit more, you know, dressy. Uh, so this is something you can wear with a more rugged style. So just to give you like a rough measurement of how tall the shaft heights of these uh, specific Chelsea boots are, just to give you an idea, uh, the shortest one right here that I have, this is the um, M Jemmy, a little bit less than six inches. That's the shortest one. Uh, and then from here, this one is around seven inches. And this is the New Republic. This guy is a little bit under seven inches as well. And then this is the Herring. This is about six and a quarter inches. And then this is the uh, the Koyo here. You're at about nine inches. Regardless of, of the, uh, the, the the heel height, I think the difference is negligible compared to like the actual height of the shaft. I personally think that this is gonna be um, easier to wear. I'll get into that later in a later review if you wanna see more about my thoughts uh, after wearing this for a few months. So just let me know uh, and I will do that for you. And finally, thing number five, the toe shape. If a boot's toe is too squared off or too pointy or even too rounded, it's a definite no-go for me. This has like a really pleasing almond shape, which uh, if you look at any of the Chelsea boots that I own, uh, it has a very similar toe shape. So I definitely have a specific style that I really like. And uh, I think, you know, looking uh, top down from these boots, like it's a really elegant boot, even though it has a little bit more of a rugged characteristic, I think overall the shape of the toe is really nice. And that's the kind of thing that I look for uh, as far as like the details when it comes to the overall silhouette of the shoe. All right, fellas, so that's all I have for you in this video. I'm gonna wrap it up here. That was my sort of unboxing slash first impressions of the Koyo Chelsea boot in this mocha suede color. Uh, if you want to hear more uh, what I think about these boots uh, if I after wearing them for a few weeks or months, definitely let me know in the comments below and I will do a follow-up review on that. Also, if you're here watching this video because you're considering picking up a pair of your very own, let me know in the comments below. I wanna hear from you. Uh, I wanna know if you have any questions, things like that. Maybe I can help answer them. Just let me know. Thanks again for watching and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.